Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and here I am reporting from Ireland. In this video I would like to share that if you want to have a happy life and a fulfilling fun life and a peaceful life, if you want to have a fun, happy, peaceful, joyful, deep, rich thoroughly enjoyable and exciting life you need to focus on healing because it's only the blocks from our childhood that's basically getting in the way of us Ten minutes. yeah thanks man it's just the obstructions the inner obstructions and the blockages that's getting in the way of our thriving in life our, our sincere sheer joy hi Selma hi hi Steve James <laughs> So, for me, the most important thing is not love, it's not light, it's not, it's not happiness even per se. Like, of course it is, but the, how you get there is the most important thing. It's not talking about being a goody two-shoes and being a nice person. That doesn't do anything good for you. There's loads of depressed, suicidal, goody two-shoes people who are busy being goody two-shoes nice people, and they're suppressing their truth. They're living an inauthentic lie. They're in the closet. They're hiding. They're they're avoiding and they're suppressing and they're denying. So what's most important is to let out the emotions and the pain and the hurt to allow the energy to flow within you. They say an emotion is an energy in motion. E-motion. So for me, what will bring you deeper levels of love? Better relationships. Be available and ready for a better relationship and a true deep romantic connection. And a true deep connection with life and yourself. It's not from trying to be love and light or goody two shoes. Not at all. It's not from being trying to be spiritual and wearing bracelets. Hey, Nat. From I remember you. <laughs> nice to meet you in Thailand. Thanks for watching. <laughs> How his taz. Hi. Thank you, Margaret Peelin, for the big cuddle. And welcome, Selma Selmich. What an amazing name. <laughs> Selma Selmich. <laughs> so, the more we do what I'm saying, which is about accepting and loving ourselves exactly the way we are in this moment and in the past, forgiving and letting go of others and ourselves especially, letting go of the regrets, any regrets for our mistakes. And there's no mistakes, so there's no reason to have a regret. Everything is an experience that teaches us what we want in the in the variation in the variety of life it's life is designed to have experiences and through all these different experiences we learn what we prefer what we want more of and what we want less of so nothing is a mistake everyone nothing so when we let go of the baggage when we let go of the burdens nice little apple tree over there this is when we open up our circuits for a free flow of flow. That's when we can be in the flow. And it's not just energetical flow, it's also physical, lymph and blood flow. So when we eat sticky, thick, dry and dehydrated foods and cooked foods, which are generally dehydrated also, except for soups. And I'm not going to get heavy on this topic because it's not a heavy topic, but just overall, the more liquidy a diet and the lighter we eat in general the more well we will be in body mind spirit so that's all I'll say about that okay I recommend a, a raw food and a fruitarian diet and even a liquid based diet and I think we should all take breaks from solid food regularly and go on liquids and juices and herbs and stuff combined with even enemas too I'd highly recommend and detoxing powders it's worked miracles for me and so many other people that I know. I'm, I'm part of hundreds of groups almost <laughs> in history, in my history of the last 10 years anyway. So we need to stop taking, eating heavy stuff. Okay. I'm going to talk about eating or consuming other heavy stuff. Think about a pub. Think about a shady nightclub scene. There's a lot of heavy energy. And when we go there, we're consuming and absorbing other people's energy and the energy of the environment. So... Having a non-toxic diet and environment and friendships and relationships and family relationships and romantic relationships, non-toxic, 
We want a non-toxic, compassionate, loving, accepting relationship with ourselves. We need to be willing and allow ourselves to cry easily and readily, even in public if you feel comfortable. And that's where I am at the moment. I'm just happy to cry and sing out loud anywhere, if I really basically speak. And I don't really care. I look at people in the eye with a big tear in my, my, tear in my eye, and I don't care about that. Who cares? At the end of the day, I want to be as joyful and love-filled as possible. And joy-filled. And I have been this year more than ever. And last year more than ever before that. But this year I've even gone up to a higher stage, much higher stage. I am letting go of any baggage within me and any block energy blockages and heart blockages. So I am creating a space, everyone. I'm letting go. I'm, it's like I'm tidying the room. When you empty the room, like your kitchen or your living room, living room or your bedroom, you create a space for lovely things to come in. It's only through letting go of the, the, the past and letting go that you create a space to allow the new to come on in. And the new is going to be better than the old. But if we're full up and blocked and full of baggage and suppressed pain and hurt, we cannot, we're, it's going to be a slow progress. So that's why I'm happy to cry in public now. I, don't, I want a fast progress. That's why I want to live more on Jesus, because I want a faster progress and even fruitarianism. I want the fast track the, the deepest bliss, joy and happiness that I can ever receive and hold within my, my being, in my life. I want to fast. Now, I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a crazy rush. I'm not like trying to suppress anything or avoid anything. It's happy and it's harmonious and it's simple. It's easy and it's graceful. There's no pressure, there's no strain and there's no stress and striving. It's easy. Amy, it's whole, Amy says I'm having trouble letting go of some baggage. Is holding onto a brick hard? Letting go of it's easy, but holding onto it's a difficult part. So Amy, just don't be judging yourself. Have loving compassion and thoughts, compassionate thoughts to yourself. And allow yourself just to cry or sh scream or be angry and punch a pillow or whatever. Like... In, in a safe, appropriate place, like your bedroom, for example. Um, so, yeah, you're saying, okay, Margaret is saying, I met a young chap, and he was also talking about this sort of thing, so it must be meant to be, to hear you too. Great, I love your advice. Hey, Borna, welcome to the video, nice to see you. I was actually thinking of messaging you and, you know, your partner today, and um, ask about meeting up. So maybe later or maybe not, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> so um, I better go, but um, I gotta go and have some lunch. I'll see you later. Bye bye. I'm coming. <laughs> see you, everyone. Have a lovely day and uh, thanks for watching. Gonna have a drink now. Bye.